for the things. Because you have to prove it. You can't just say it. We can't just take your word at it, unfortunately. But I, I can't. I can't just talk to you about the things that I know and then prove that I know the things. Ah, uh, that argument. It has to be standardized test. That argument. I. Uh, you, you, you. You got me there. I. Yeah, you got me there. What the hell do you mean scheduled? It's not scheduled, it's happening right now. Okay. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, hello and welcome to Yakuza Like a Dragon Part 9. I have not got a notification that you have streamed. I have this stream pulled up on my phone. Is it. Is there's, it... No, there's no notification. Oh no. Did you subscribe and click the bell? I did. I get notifications every time you stream, but I have no notification. Oh. Uh, it says live. I'm looking at it on oh, my phone. Do what? Ah, right, here we go. I just ah. got that McDonald's internet. Ah, that lovely McDonald's Wi-Fi. Delicious. All of the McDonald's Wi-Fi. All right, okay. Um, to Eagle Eye viewers, uh, yeah, I've, I've been doing some grinding. Um, and I've changed some jobs around. I'm going to go up these jobs to level 10 really quickly, and then we're going to continue on with the story once I give everybody new jobs. A crisp high five. A nice crisp high five. High five, all right. Um, I don't got any payment, but uh, how about a nice cruise high five? So excited for Deadpool 3. By that tree? Really, just by picking up bugs. I reset the encounters, really. Interesting. Why is that linked to bugs? A cockroach, how lovely. Amazing. Stupendous. Superb. Where the hell? Alright, maybe the other guy's out here. I was looking for one enemy in particular that usually spawns at like level. 38, and if you play it right, you can easily defeat him. But I can't find him. Pretty colors. 
In the fountain. 3D colors. In the fountain. Oh, a cultist? Sure. Or not a cultist, a, a shaman. A shaman? Sorted curse. Like the toilet paper? That would make more sense if it was like the toilet paper. <laughs> eh, just beat the hell out of him, guys. Y'all know what to do. Yep, just kick him while he's down. He doesn't like it. Yep, there we go. Yep, get that free attack in there. Go get him with that elbow drop. Yeah! Come on. I was really hoping to just battle one guy. And call it a day. But I should have known better. Hmm. Is dog barking? Yes, dog is barking. I don't know why dog's barking. Is dog okay? I don't know. Dog, you okay? Yeah, dog's fine. Dog's just making noise. This guy's never around. Really? <laughs> Is this the first time we see her um, human form, I guess? I don't know.
one of these trees. Damn, I have no clue where the hell he went. Right. I love that these guys are called pompadorks. That guy just not there today? He decided to stay home after the last ass kicking I gave him? I don't get it. Yep. He's almost always there. These guys are skate boy. Oh, a trick master. Okay.
Guess I'll just go around beating the hell out of random jobbers. Since that one guy in the fight is not showing up. Oh, did you fart it? Get out of my face! The dog Since I have this timekeeper, it is almost nine. Thanks, cruel bro. You're welcome, bro. That That's the one. Part of being a bro is bro. Absolutely, bro. Bro force. Bro force. That was the most knocked out, noxious thing. <laughs> Bro Ruckus. Fun freaking believable. Mac Brover. Indecent cloud striding? What? See what that is next time on the next explosive episode of Clovis Gaming Z. All right, good night, guys. I'm going to bed. Good night. Sleep safe. Good night. See you be safe. Sleep safe. Sleep safe. Beat that man with a spatula. I think one more battle should do it. I think. Maybe two more. Saeko, what are you doing way over here?
All right. Now I must go back to Hello Work and get some new jobs. Excuse me. Congratulations. You're excused.
You're doing great. All right, I had to make notes to make sure I'm keeping these jobs in the correct order. I'll be rooting for you. I do appreciate that this game just automatically equips the best gear that you ha that you have for whenever you switch jobs. It just automatically here's your best weapon for the for the job. Nice, that is smart. It is incredibly frustrating to have to like figure that stuff out on your own. Or even just like once you do figure it out, to then like rem you have to remind yourself like. Oh wait, I got this new weapon for this job that I need to equip to this uh, person because mm -hmm. they didn't have it last time. And the game just like, now nah, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, fellas. Really? Not ah, hell. All right. I was gonna make a run for a sandwich individual, but sure, I'll take it. what do y'all have? Luscious guillotine? Heel stomp? What do we want to see first? <laughs> Luscious guillotine? Or heel stomp? Crow? Guillotine. Alright. Always go with the guillotine. Ooh, that's a broken neck. Did you use the guillotine? Yep. Ooh. Excel step. Okay, maximum flare, rolling trash. Oh, rolling thrash. I can't read. Hmm. That was an awesome rolling trash. No, that was a uh, flare. That wasn't rolling thrash. Uh -huh. You should do. You should have done rolling thrash. I'll do it next time. What do we got? Boss hammer. I charge up and do it next turn, I guess. Here we go. 
Well, let's look at Heal Stomp. Ooh, that's just a kick! Except her heal probably went through his larynx. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Rolling Thrash was... solid. Alright, cool. You should do Rolling Thrash more often. If I had the magic. No sandwiches. No sandwich men. Cool, I'll finish that sub-quest some other time. Thanks, part-time hero. Ah. Does not matter how I get to my destination. They're all waiting for me. Cool! Hiya, fella! Oh, wait. No, there was a thing. I wanted to talk. Oh, alright. I'll beat the hell out of these guys and then come back. Where the hell is the first aid kit? I don't want to use the legendary one. Where's the regular one? I bought the regular one. Well, shit. Okay. I don't have a thing that... Hell yeah. 
Well, good luck trying to figure that out, Adachi. Does not matter which way I go, they really don't want me to get to... that timing again. There's a lot of smoke lingering. I don't trust it. Damage a single enemy as well as many surrounding enemies by swinging the hammer with all your might. Okay. I'll use that for a cloud clearer. Crowd clearer.
something else. There it is. Garlic. Ugh. Arms dealer? <laughs> no shit. An incendiary grenade? A lamp stand? What an offensive item deals heavy blunt dent? What is what job is the lamp stand for? Or is it a job? Is it just an item? I'll take a gold safe key. I'll take like 50 of them. Now I'll take a hundred. No defense bonus, it just boosts dexterity. You take one. And I'll take one. Yeah, I'm good with that for the moment. Okay, bye. Appreciate the items. I want to talk to. I, I just wanted to talk to the person. Oh, you're gonna kill me. How original. Collapsing chair. Whip service? <laughs> ah, it's fun. See what this does. Let's go. Oh, you just spin to win. You called for backup. Okay. Check this out. You're gonna get 
Run over and stab him real quick. Just a little stab. There wasn't a little stab about that. That was just straight in the gut. Just, just an itty bitty stabby stab. Yeah, I'll recruit you, buddy. You want to go work at uh, Ichiban Confections? All right, cool probably won't ever actually hire you. <laughs> I'm a jerk. Alright. Restroom break. I'll be right back. Have fun. All right. What are you humming? It's from Undertale. Ah. Make sure I'm not missing anything real quick. Quick look yeah, around. Sometime. Do what? I really should replay Undertale sometime. I miss it. Why don't you? Because I don't have the computer that it was bought on. I could get it on the Switch, maybe. That does seem like an issue. Okay. Had to make sure the stream was still going. Oh. There. That's Takabe. Hey, hold on. Cuz, why the hell are you here? Because you're getting played, man. Yeah. And the player is Lauma. You know, Mabuchi. He killed the owner of Otohime Land and made it look like a suicide. This woman heard it happen over the phone with her own ears. I did. I heard a struggle and men shouting, Lauma. Which gave us a lead we followed to Mabuchi's trading company. He had jobs working at the Liu Mang warehouse. And then you were captured. And apparently you claimed you were Seiryu spies. Mabuchi sent it to me. Using that video to start a war. We never claimed to be Siryu. In fact, I told him over and over again we're not. I think he even believed me, but he didn't give a shit. I know that doesn't make sense, but I'll explain. As long as he pretends to think that we're Siryu, he can claim he was just defending himself against an attack from your clan. <sighs> it's all a bunch of bullshit to start a war. He's planting fake evidence that the Serial Clan broke the rules of the truce. Would you see? If you fight him, you're playing right into his hand. Yeah, I know all that. Huh? Don't worry. 
I'll take Mabuchi down once I've eliminated all my other enemies. But what I'm trying to say is, I mean, don't you want to avoid? I'm fine with starting a war. What? I'll take a war for the sake of Tetsu and Koji. They were two young recruits, just boys, really. The boys who, in the end, had more bullets in them than gears of life. Mabuchi was there when they were murdered. Damn. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the street. Seven among bastards <gasps> unloaded their clips on two I kids. am excited to be here. <laughs> here we are. Outside the restaurant. Why you laugh? Because Glad you're here, bud. Explanation for Tetsu and Kochi's death. The souls of those boys demand an apology. Hello. Hello, my love. I may have fallen into a doom scroll. <laughs> I didn't Hello. fall. I opened the door and saw there was a hole and I stepped in it. Oh no. What? Don't oh. fall in the hole. You can't just shoot us. There's no one. You have no reason to kill us. Although my character, no lie, is falling literally through the game. Oof. If you shoot me, you bring shame to the entire Seiryu clan. Tetsu and Koji's deaths. Now I can hear Crow. Hello! Hello! Mm. No, hello to you. I know words alone won't make you that. Hello to everyone! Maybe on the YouTubes, I because I saw that Will was streaming, because I am subscribed, and I hit that notification bell. Ding ding. Thank you for that plug. You're welcome. Lord knows you need it. I really do. I've already liked him. <laughs> I think that rat's nah, I'm not that good of a friend. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I, I'm I've just started claiming first on everyone. You are stupid. <laughs> you can't claim first on me because I don't know how to stream. Ha ha. That's fair. I don't know how to stream either. Yeah, I don't know. We'll fight, as long as there are no guns. <sighs> For some reason I did contemplate, though, like making a whole nother fucking profile. For why? Because that's how damn good the story in this game is. He still- oh, I thought it would- it would make more sense if it forced me to change- Ah, uh, whatever. The only thing that I would not be excited about? Is the gotcha aspect. That would make it hardest look. Oh, I have to finish Kokomi's story quest. <laughs> She's cute and all, but... Bless you. I think Toshi sneezed. But I don't know where she's hiding. Although I don't blame her for hiding. Oh. Cat drama. Cat drama. Drama within cats, should I say. Oh, Toshi's in the corner. Although it's about time I feed her right now, so... There are no guns. Cats with guns? Oh, heavens no. Cats with guns. That's a terrifying thought. Begin over. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Did she say the bend boys. over and squeal for me? Oh boy. Oh, well, that's the job I gave her. I should not be surprised. Watch out, you heathens. Why is there cat litter on the cat food? Get down, you fat fuck! 
You act like you never eat. Hi, Toshi! That's a good sign. Hi, Mama. Yes, you can, you can, you can reach up here. Well, the boys always steal your food. Assholes. How is she doing better? Uh, she seems like it. Uh, the the drama is the fact that Ritsu uh, continually tries to mount her, mm. even though he has no balls. Mm. So, and as a result, she's trying to like hide away from him, which like I said I don't blame her, but. <sighs> you bastards. All right, I'm gonna come put the heathen in the office with you to eat. Okay, my love. All right. Just so he doesn't steal anybody else's. And what sucks is I even have to separate Morris because Morris will eat hers too. Come here, Ritsu. The boss. I know you don't give two fucks, Ritsu. Come on. Ritsu. <sighs> and this is why I think the blue the microchip feeders would be a good investment. Then he couldn't steal food. He could only get his food. Loki? <sighs> okay, one down. I hear you, Morris. Basically slandering my right hand man right now, you know? Hard to believe he'd suddenly go rogue on me. And he's just as busy as I am. Not the type of guy with time to scheme. He's only busy because he's trying to start wars. Don't you get it? I mean, isn't it a little weird that your right hand man is nowhere in sight? Have you even talked to him since you saw that video? Point, Zhao San. If you don't know what Mabuchi is, doesn't that make you look bad? Excuse me. Think about it. If Mabuchi ain't answering his own boss's calls, could that mean he was fanning the flames of war? And now he's holed up somewhere waiting to watch it burn? Now, he hasn't just gone rogue. He's betrayed you. Not walk out into a fucking sermon? Call it whatever you want. As long as you get it through your head, we're not to blame here. And deep down, you know that. Did you think that sounded cool, Grandpa? You're shit at this. Oh my god, it is crisp and it smells like a barbecue outside. Yeah. Oh my god. That is delicious. Alright, you heathens. Morris. <sighs> Toshi. Toshi. Come here. 
Yes, she's eating. Thank God. Yay. Oh, should I? Ichiban Kasuga, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm all ears. First, I want you to answer a question. Shoot. Why would Mahuchi try to start a war in Ijincho in the first place? How in the goddamn world does that benefit him? How the fuck should I know? What a surprise. And in regards to that soap land owner, do you know for sure that Mahabuchi killed him? Yeah, he straight up told me when I asked him. Oh. Well, I'm not buying it. Which means this discussion's over. I saw it in his eyes. That dude's a murderer. Raising your voice isn't gonna make me change my mind. Wait. Shooting him drags us all into a war. Well, Mom, she wants us somewhere safe and sound. Is that what you want? What would that even accomplish? You'll kill a man without even knowing that? I'll say it as many times as it takes, Zhao. Mom, would you plan all of this? And he's out there laughing in the shadows. Start this war. Your whole organization will be stained with that forever. Look, <laughs> Kasuga-kun. I don't think you're lying, Shet. I think you'd be terrible at it. Hmm. But just because you're not lying doesn't mean it's true. I need proof before I act. I gotta think like a leader, right? And that means setting a fucking example. At the very least, I need evidence that Mabuchi killed the soap landowner. That's where the whole thing started, after all. According to you. Huh. So she heard Lao Ma over the phone. That's all you got. Isn't that enough? Hell no, it's not. <sighs> I've got an idea. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not really sure I want to get them involved. Who's them? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh, the web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komijuo. Komijuo. Go me, Jewel. There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh, the web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju. Yeah? If someone really is trying to fuck with the Ijin 3's balance of power, that someone being Mabuchi, as you claim. There's no way the Komiju don't know about it. Information is what they trade in. It's practically their currency. <sighs> He's right. Eugene Cho's got lots of people willing to sell secrets. And if you follow each secret long enough, they all end up in Komicho. Yeah. I don't know how they do it, but whatever their system, the info is always 100% accurate. It's incredible, really. It doesn't seem real. I'm not saying you have to use the Komi Jewel to find evidence of your Mabuchi theory. If you got other ideas, fine. 
Just prove to me that Mabuchi killed your boss. I'll let the captain here live until you return. <laughs> By the way, don't even think about running. If so much as your pinky toe crosses the Ichincho border, the captain dies. And I still wouldn't be satisfied. So your friends and your family would be next. Wait, what the hell's with that? Don't argue, Sanchan. These guys don't do logic or compassion. Honestly, I want an answer just as bad as you all do. If Mabuchi really has betrayed me, then my gang's gonna be split down the middle. Neither the Seiryu clan nor the Komijo is gonna be thrilled about that. But that's why I need contingency plans. You see now, all the shit I gotta deal with. Man, I sure hope Mabuchi's innocent. But of course, then I'd have to kill you all. <laughs> hey, no complaints, I hope. <laughs> no need to be all giddy about it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go find proof that Mabuchi killed your subland owner. Asuka, I don't think we have a choice. <sighs> I know. You're probably aware, but the Komi Jewel don't fuck around. So be careful. Finding the evidence won't do any good if you're dead. You almost sound like you care. Kasuga, we really gotta get moving. And fast. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So it seems as though the grass texture in this game that I'm playing has not loaded oh. into the world. Huh. So now I get to play this game, but only on the concrete. <laughs> concrete for miles. The good news is, is that there is concrete for miles. I wonder if the texture... It's not like we have any other choice. Yo is just not there for me or if it's there for my enemies because then I could use this seems as though the grass is there for them which is bullshit Ah, ha ha, I can use it. Right. <laughs> Silly. Sujimon Sensei, about Yokohama Underground Dungeon. I heard through the grapevine you escaped from Yokohama from Liu Mong's underground prison. Truth is, tunnels around there go by the name Yokohama's Underground Dungeon. Place is famous, harboring lots of rare Sujimon. You don't see much above ground. Rumor has it, Yokohama Liu Mong guys have cleared out too. Enemies you can encounter should be different now. Tons of them. Real tough cookies. Entrance is the same manhole you came out of when you escape. Recommend you head inside and find yourself some rare Sujimon. Unlocked. Access it through the manhole you used to escape from at Yokohama Leomon. Exploring this dungeon will not only make you stronger, but it might find rare materials and items. Okay. Well, then. Uh, 
and all of the side quests have opened. <sighs> Where to even start? Oh! We'll that start sounds right here. like a good place. I've been wondering how this date went. I thought they were beating around noon. It's like the middle of the night. Bro, did she stand you up? What happened? <laughs> it, dude, it's been five hours and you're still out here? I respect the commitment, but... Dude, <laughs> it's been five hours. Either she stood you up or something's wrong. She's late? Five hours later? Yeah, who's the guy? Huh. Oh, you're one of those. Oh, can I kick his ass? When she wanted to break up all of a sudden? Oh, uh, let me kick his ass. Let me kick his ass. So you gave her those bruises. Oh, I'm definitely kicking your ass. Oh, please. You bastard. Good job. Now let me kick him while he's down. Oh, look at you! <laughs> Let me kick him. Let me kick him in the balls. Can I kick him in the balls? Is there a move for that? Deserve all of the disrespect. <laughs> I 
I just slap you with my money really quickly. <laughs> Please do. You okay, Karoi? Karoi san, are you hurt? I'm so sorry. Karoi. My actions what is how you say it? Danger. Ow! I had no love for him anymore. I kept lying to myself because I was scared of being hit again. But when I saw Karoi-san working so hard to change his life around, I knew I had to make a change too. In the end, I'm the one who caused all this trouble. It's not your fault, Shurikawa-san. Anyway, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This is nothing new. Forgive me. I should have noticed sooner. Hmm. Honestly, this whole experience has been rather eye-opening. I've realized I still can't do anything by myself. There's something I have to tell you, Shirakawa-san. About what? I've still got a lot to learn. And I'm not exactly strong enough to protect you just yet. I'm not quite understanding this. But I'll change. My entire life I've always given up whenever things get tough. I was so afraid of failure. But I'm not gonna give up on myself anymore. I'm gonna change. I'm going to get a proper job. And become a proper man. I'll become a man worthy of you. And do everything I can to make you happy. So... Uh, do you... Do you think you could wait for me until then? I... Uh, sorry, I know it sounds like a lot. Unlike me, you've actually got a future ahead of you. Yes, well... In that future, I see myself with you, Kuroi-san. In fact, I'm almost certain about it. Huh? I'll wait for you. So, when that time comes, do you think maybe we can catch a movie? Oh, of course! I, I'd love to take you to the movies! Looks like those two may just work out after all. Good luck, Karoi. Shirakawa? Poundmate selection has expanded? I, I can call her to aid me? Uh. Does she throw carrots at people? Does she throw soup at people? Does she throw soup and carrots at people? Ooh, I see a thing. Broth of benevolence? Thankfully, this kind lady... <laughs> is in the business of dishing out not punishment but pork soup her hearty nourishing concoction restores the party's mp good to know restores the party's mp okay And eventually, I'll summon the chicken. The chompkin? Chompkin. SOS parking structure. And Yokohama Boulevard. Chompkin. Good old Chompkin. So many quests. Let's start our way down south and make make the circuit. I think that's the best way to go about that.
a sandwich man. Somersault leg? Ooh, that was quick. What? The prompt on that uh, button press was way quicker than I thought it would be. Remember that time in history when, like, uh, uh, Moses parted the Red Sea with a Beyblade? Was that a bay blade or a bay wheel? It was definitely a bay wheel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, that show. Oh, that show was bad. It was so bad. I, I it didn't help, believe. though, that Netflix had it backwards. I, I was just about to say, I still can't believe Netflix had us doing it backwards. Hey, Yumiko-san. Isn't it time we moved on to something more appropriate for your age? I... I really don't... They're like, this show's not good enough for you to watch from episode one. Here... here you go. Here's episode three. Just watch 30. the last one first, and yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah, the season finale. Fifty Shades of Play. Nobody wants you around. So listen to the number one girl and leave. <coughs> but I, I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just. Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. Damn. My advice: find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Quit. Quit. Granny panties. <laughs> Granny panties. Holy shit. Time to put down the whip. You could break a hip in those heels. No, I take pride in what I do. I've always done my best to help my clients. Even if there aren't many left. I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? Wait, what was the last directive? Paimon, look in the fucking book. Paimon can't read. Alright, ladies, that's enough. Huh? I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. You fucking oh, walking tutorial? I think you're the ones bringing the club down. Not her. What? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko son? Only a loser when he was drunk. This loser's only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even better idea. Watch your back out there, Graham. What has done? Jeez. You all right there? I am. Thank you. Yes, there's always haters no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress.
すみませんでした。Y'all are in trouble. Who's in trouble? People out here trying to start another fucking war. Mr. Masochist. Babe, what are you doing in that game? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, nothing right. It don't matter who he pays, nothing, nothing can make him feel anymore. Oh. That can't be you, babe. You got your girl. I'm so confused about what's happening right now. He's got every kink, <laughs> he's got every kink club in town bending over backwards to satisfy his oh, needs. My goodness. Kink, fe fetch a fetish, bloody gauntlet, the Dom Dome. Good old fetch a fetish. The That's Dom like Dome! Damn, that's kind of genius. <laughs> that man was as stiff as a board, but not in the way he needed to be. The Dom Dome is, gen is genius, you said? No, no. The fetch a fetish. The fetch like fetish. Google. Ah. It's like Google, but for fetishes. Mm. His skin was concrete hard, no matter how much elbow grease I gave it, or any kind of grease for that matter. He wouldn't even flinch. Welcome to the stream. I'm Hello. attempting to get Mr. Masochist to uh, feel again. <sighs> oh. oh, okay. Someone's doing the ooh -la, la but it ain't me. Wow. I, I just overheard a lot. It, well, that's what it sounded know? like. It, it was two sentences, but it, it was a lot. I... Okay. So they were ooh la ing ooh -la -la. Uh, They were... Uh, doing something. I don't I mean, know hey, if only I... they can decide when it's the right time for them to do the ooh-la-la. -la. Look, man, I don't know if I would necessarily call it the ooh-la-la, -la, but, like, it was something. Are we finally at the end of this? 
The end of what? Ah, uh, Kogami's story quest. Is it long? Uh, it's boring compared to the other ones I've done so far. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. I mean, she's cute, and I love her design, but... Ugh. No, most of the quests have been pretty interesting, so I have to agree. Also, I was messing with condensed <laughs> resin, and I'm convinced that it's the superior way to farm if you're in a hurry. Oh, definitely. Condensed oh, and you got resin? Nahida, right? I do. I have something to show you. Knight of the Cask? Ball. Are you in right now? I'm in. Yes, you are in. Are, am I free to join? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> this is so cool. Hello. Hello. <gasps> are we in Sumeru? Perfect. Sumeru. Okay. Change to Nahida. Super quick. This guy is beating his head against Mine the tree. Mine is a little low level. To feel bit. anything, dude. It's okay. Looks like she's a little dead right now. Oh no. Okay. All right. Let's see. Does this person have a name? This person has a name. Okay. So hold R two. Bro, are you seeing this? And aim at him. Blind. I don't know. <laughs> and then release. You read Nahida? people's minds? Yes! Is it through the Akasha? What are y'all talking well, about? That I'm not too sure. Well, I actually... So I, I don't know. I got kind of black last night, so I started in on the... After Quest for Sumeru. I'm only I'm still oh. at one. Oh, I haven't done anything for it. I mean, I'm not very far along. Obviously, because I think there's five acts, and I'm just in Act One of Chapter, whatever it is. But, um, but yeah, I got like, there, and it talked about the Akasha, and I was like, "This is weird." Like, I yeah, think so, the Akasha uh, is. So, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but uh, I was gonna say, so as long as they are a named character in Sumeru, you can read their mind. <laughs> It does not work in Mondstadt, and I it doesn't work in Fontaine. So, isn't that cool? So that's, that's what, awesome. That's Mr. what it was talking about in the uh, Sadist, in Mathicus, the description Mr. of the Fetish. skill that it might do something else too. That's what it was talking about. Uh, <laughs> these names uh, are great. Did Mark correct? Dude, yeah, what are you? Like, am I spoiling? They, too they much by talking about the Akasha, or um, or anything you already know about the name it? they've given him? Vaguely. Mm. No like, fetish. I don't really know much about it except like all that, that it's like funny. a Mr. citizenship card almost for Sumo. Oh, is it the, that thing on their ears? Yeah, and it. Works like, like they can ask the Akasha questions, like if they have a question about somebody they see in the the Akasha. Yeah, the thing on the ear. Oh. It'll turn into like a little green lens thing, and Why then they can be like, "Tell me now. about blah blah blah," and if they have data her? on that person, okay. I hear and you. that person because that person has one too, it'll like give them the information. Interesting. So like, if, whenever uh, you first get to the gate, they're like, we can't look you up in the Akasha, because, like, you're not a member. Uh -huh. And so then they have to give you one, and I was like, I don't know that I want Akasha knowing things about me, like... Okay, so, the thing is, I already know, kind of, like... I know the big thing about the Akasha, thanks to spoilers that I've gotten. And, no, you didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, dude. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. I, uh, that I didn't want. You, you didn't want one. 
I didn't think I wanted one. <laughs> I was like, I, but it like forced us, and I'm like, okay, and then like Paimon and the Traveler are like playing with it, and like, I was already kind of suspicious, because like, Tainari is, he was, you meet Tainari before you go to the, the main city, and he's like, I don't know what good it's gonna do to someone like you, and like, I personally don't like them, and I was like, oh? This is interesting. Mm. Because he's basically, like, he doesn't go into the city much, and as soon as he takes it off, and he said something about, like, because his ears are super sensitive, and, like, just doesn't like it. Hmm. But he was really vague, and I was just like, this is shady. So your father I'm not about this. Yeah, he's technically farther than me now, but not I, much. I, I also started Will you strike it. me with everything oh. you <laughs> have? You want me to punch you? So, yeah, if it hurts, there's still hope. Like, shady Use whatever tools there. you have at your disposal. Gang up on me if you have to. Yeah, I kind of wanted to finish Lantern Right, and then I wanted to finish, um... Kokomi's story okay, quest dude. because I found a couple of side quests in the desert that I never did and I'm like, well, shit, I've got to fix that. Oh, I'm probably like I'm still spacing it out. I'm not going to touch my main quest for a while. I just kind of wanted to start Sumeru because I was tired of having the marker telling me to enter Sumeru on my thing. Yeah, I'm getting sick of that too. Oh, Ooh, it's, of, my I'm expedition of... rewards are in. Well, because it's in such a central place, and I keep seeing it, and it's like, I need to go do a thing. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Like, I almost wish I could just turn it off. Mm. No. But I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'll do the two little side quests that I found in the desert of Hadramabeth and then I'll probably finish the mini I get uh, the it's considered a story quest the the main quest line is referred to as the archon quests um but oh, fuck I lost where I was going with that so you have the Archon Quests, the Story Quests, Commissions, and World Quests. But even like the basic side quests are considered World Quests. I have a question. So are... I, can I know like the Dragonspine missions, they're listed on the Mondstadt missions, but like... Are the Chasm mission and the missions for, like, the expansions listed in Leeway, or are some of those missable? Uh, yeah. Those are, those are in Leeway. Okay, because I was wondering, like, for the longest, I was kind of operating on this assumption as, like, oh no, like, they're all going to be listed on the reputation thing, so, like, you don't miss any. Hmm. And I'm a big completionist, so I was like, or am I wrong? So I didn't know. So I didn't know if they were going to put, like, more for the new area, or if there's a way to check what missions you've done in that area. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, and as far as theories for banners, um, it's theorized that Nouvellet, Farina, and Navia will each get a rerun before version 5.0. I would bet. They're super popular. Well, apparently it's a habit of MiHoYo uh, to do... I think they said an Archon normally gets uh, a rerun, their first rerun, four updates after their first appearance. Oh, you have a little spin crystal up here. Oh, you're like way out there. Never mind. Yeah, I went to go check the uh, <laughs> thing, but I'll look. I went to check the 
reputation thing in Liyue. Ah. <laughs> and the Chinyu missions for Chinyu Vale are actually on the list. Yeah. I I've claimed a couple of them. So that's how I knew. I don't remember how I got up here though. <laughs> Alright dude, I'm literally throwing an incendiary grenade at you. Nothing? This guy just really wants oh. to feel pain. Um, I think I think I remember where my brain was trying to go. But with, like, the super, super, super long world quests, I've kind of come into calling them, like, sub-world quests. Because they're, like, their own little chunk of story, and they normally have some kind of effect on the environment. So there is a spin crystal. I am the wrong... I think I'm going the wrong... Where am I at? Where are you at? Sumeru. Went into the... No, okay, go back. This thing... Words... I see you. Over here. I was winding up for a... Oh, yay! There you go. I wonder what it is. I need to go back to my teapot and play the soundtrack and see what it is. Oh, did you finally get a functional record player? I do, yes. I... Where did you find it? So you go to Riches of the Realm, and it's not the most obvious thing. You, I, I had to read the item description. I will go see what is listed under. Um, call it... Crow, you said you have it as well? Yes. I was on when Lucas originally figured it out, and I just followed whatever he was explaining. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, like, it's really cool. So, like, I I've only known about it for a few days, but it changes all of your background music in your teapot. Ooh. So, like, I have Fontaine music in my teapot right now. Noise. Um, in Azuma, uh, going on in mine, I think. It's I called the Euphonium Unbound. Euphonium Unbound. Do I need to, like... No, there's the continuation of it. I think. Ah, my what the just... fuck and shit? Phonium Unbound. Yeah, it's like super dope. Gambler. Mitch also, I hope I didn't kick you out when I went to my teapot. You did, but it's okay. I need to go check anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I was like, I'm gonna go look at the thing. Euphonium unbound. Oh, I have a new Sumeru soundtrack. Uh, well, of course I do. I just got it. How many stars is it? Uh, it's a purple item. Purple. That makes looking for it way easier. I appreciate that. Cleansing fortune slip stand. Uh, Festival Kibon Store, Replica Murals, Hot Spring, Divider. Interesting. Oh, that's cute! It's a little fucking Sumeru tent. That's adorable. Uh, Countless. No. Court of Justice. Does anybody else have Radiant Spin Crystal 115 and 116? Because mine are literally the only ones that don't have names out of all of my music. Like, all the other ones have, like, Domaine de Lab or Limpide a Sanglodo, or Virgin okay, Reminiscence, Bye. or some bougie French name or something. <laughs> and they're just like, Spin Crystal then 16. Like, excuse me. Like, for Liyue, I have the Fading Stories and Sunrises in Liyue. Like, everything has a name, except these two. Once Ow! Unlocked. Interesting. Okay, found them. There's yeah, two different ones. Yeah, they just look like a random base, which is why I never noticed them before. Yeah, I've always gone right past these. This could get rough. Not a loser. Huh. Here we go. Oh, I am currently broke as fuck. 
Let me claim my money first. Go get your money. That is so quick. Holy crap. Ooh, I just hit ma uh, max rank with uh, Risley. Hey, Will. 10.30. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, I have, in my teapot, I'm playing the Ballad well, of Many Waters from Fontaine. I'm just trying Fontaine. to keep track of stream time, because otherwise I'll go to like 2 or 3 in the morning and not realize it until... Oh! Oh, just I've been streaming for like so 5 or 6 hours. Let me go the fuck to sleep. Uh-huh. So, Crow just being helpful, which I greatly appreciate. Thank Well... Also, I'm, I'm, I reached maximum affection rank with my teapot person. Oh, cool! Yeah, I was pretty proud of that. So but your trust rank is maxed out? Yeah, at 10. Nice. I'm only at 6. I don't <laughs> have the 20,000 points, though, to be King of the Realm yet, but... I am at level 10 trust rank with the Teapot Spirit. I am at Exquisite for my Teapot rank. So I'm a wee bit over 8,000 Adeptal Energy. Controller died. I'm at, um, Luxury? But I also, like, put an ungodly amount of time into my teapot, so... Yeah, I keep forgetting it exists. I mean, it's really silly. I mean, it's like a Sims thing for me, almost. Uh, like, I, I redid my little village on the beach where Farina is and added, like, a, a series of buildings that are all Fontaine buildings. Like, I'm really extra. Like, I put a, an unreal amount of effort. I know what teapot y'all are talking actually about. Kind also, of dumb. what teapot? The, the adept, adult teapot. I know the teapot that they're talking about, but that's, that's the... That's so do I have to... Is it just an item I that I to buy? What, what teapot, what? Or yeah, do you I have to buy it and you can place it anywhere outside. You okay. can buy stuff for your teapot and make it your own little, like, home. Okay. I've done some things to it, nothing incredibly special. I, it, it's there. Okay. It exists. Why? Oh, this is weird. I didn't mean to oh. switch it. How does that work? If I switch Job it back, is it the same as it was before? <gasps> oh, wow. oh, I can put up my Paimon Fun! kite! I did it. I'm gonna put my Paimon kite right next to my Paimon. Go, go, you go. I can just unlock them for funsies. Oh! Ooh, okay, so the the reason that there's two of them, I'm guessing, is because I bought both of them. I guess there's one for inside and one for outside. Oh. I did not know that. Oh, I'm I only got the outside one, I didn't realize. Oh, I'm just fucking around finding out. <laughs> I'm down. That's how I do shit. <laughs> This is how we do it. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Change realm cannot use in current state. Well, fuck your mother. We're gonna go inside then. Yeah. I have to switch out Risley anyway, even though I don't want to. Oh, do I actually have to get her to get that guy to feel pain. I got great dialogue last night, and I'm not even gonna lie. I, I literally laughed out loud. It was like... Basically, it was Paimon talking to Tainari, and he was like, explaining to Paimon that like everything that's named a certain thing, a plant in Sumeru, is not actually a plant. Like, the Sumeru rose is not actually a rose, and... The Nipolo lotus is a lotus, but there's another type of lotus that isn't a lotus at all. And, like, it's just kind of going on this rant, and Paimon's just like, Paimon will make a mental note not to ask Tainari about blah 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 anymore. And it was just like, <laughs> okay, Paimon. How rude. Tainari is a sweetheart. Yeah, oh no, that was what was funny about it, is like he was totally nerding out about his botany and his plants because he's acting like a botany scholar. And so it was totally innocent, and he thought he was just having this intellectually stimulating conversation, and my mom's just like, Nah. I don't give no fucks. Like, 
Yeah, no, the, his rant goes on for at least, like, two minutes. <laughs> but uh, be, me being the nerd I am, I found it very interesting. Yeah, no, I loved it. I loved his little rant. I loved that they put that much detail of botany into their world. I will give them one thing. It does appear as if they do their research. <gasps> we'll put Gaming in. Gaming, you can live in the house right now. What's you're the not, difference between you're, you're the two smart, worlds but... that are in... So I have the realm styles unlocked where I can switch between them. The so floating abode is more like what, inside like cloud retainer's teapot or something? What? I completely missed that because I was doing other things. Well, I just, since I'm max trust rank, one of the things I just unlocked is the ability to switch the realm style. Hey! And so I was just looking, and it shows that I have, um... So it, like, saves my cool isle, which was the, my first one, and then it, so now I can switch between floating a boat and Emerald Peak. Hmm. And, uh... Hmm? So I was just asking about, like, which one is better between my ones? Oh. Or is there a preference? Uh, so Emerald Peak is indeed kind of like the one that uh, the one you visit when you first visit Cloud Retainer. It's the one with the light bridges on it. Uh, that is the one that Crow has. Yep. Um. I have the Le the Leeway Mountains, and then I think you said you have the island? Yeah, I have Cool Isle. Yeah. Oh, so it... Fuck. Mm. Madison EXE is just crashing tonight. Um, what was the question? Oh, I'm just asking about... I guess what you, like, of the Leeway layouts, I mean, I guess there's not really a better one, but, like, what are the advantages to each? Okay. Oh, I think it's purely aesthetic. Okay. So, it, it's whatever aesthetic you want to go for. Yeah, my brain is just fucking crashing tonight. I don't know what's going on. And I don't so to like get it. the teapot Sorry, layout, I'm to get this guy's or... mom to yell at him to try and get him to feel pain. Ooh. That's a kink in and of itself, but odd. I, this guy literally had me wail on him with the strongest moves I had. I, I beat the shit out of him with the fattest stack of cash, and he didn't feel shit. I don't know what else. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. How else could I possibly get this man to feel pain besides sending another woman after him with the, with the mace? There he is! Game is so dumb. Oh my goodness! Look at you! <gasps> it's so tiny! Oh my god, I love it! Babe, I want one! What is it? The ladle! Do I get my stuff I back in this table? one? Inquiring minds would like to know. Is it like everything I've ever created is just at my disposal again? That'd be nice. Oh, it is. Hey. I'm down for this. I can like. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Well, it's great because I basically was just, like a lot of it. Like I rearranged in the after, but essentially, like a lot of the buildings that looked alike, I wasn't paying really any attention. Like. What does it matter? I was just trying to raise my score, essentially. Yeah. It's so cute. It's a new Valado. Launch that houses. Stay away houses. I guess that's Sumo, not Sumo, and Inazuma, then Sumo, then Fontaine. I don't have any Inazuma or Sumo buildings. Is that a Shao Lantern? I did not want to reset my camera. God damn it. That's 
But I love it. That's the only way. That's the only way. Okay, I'm working on this table right here. What's that? I think we're gonna move the Nuva Ladle to over here. Doesn't love a nice set. use my teleport points again? I can have a fish tank? What? <laughs> I'm jelly. I don't have one, but apparently I can. Oh, I can reuse my teleport points too. Hey. I love that. Okay, so literally if you switch layouts, you get everything again, which is kind of glorious because it's like, now that I have all the swag, Instead of having to delete it Sorry. from my current realm, I can just kind of have, like, my first one, where it's all kind of just the way it is, right? Even though it doesn't make a lot of sense, and then I can have whatever the hell my other ones are. Close even? I think that's right. Okay, uh, save. And then... I'm gonna Nami. unlock those, you know, uh... If you wanna be my teapot, you gotta go with my friends. I think I'm gonna switch <gasps> to the Emerald P. Oh my god, you sweetheart! You're an- you're another Toma, aren't you? So I put Gom- I put Gomming in my- in my teapot. And he said, I know you won't let me pay rent, but I- I will in at least insist on making myself useful. So if you catch me cleaning or gardening, don't try and stop me. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, what a sweetheart. He- I mean- as you learn through the, the Lantern Rite quest, he is a great kid, but... Oh my god! He is... Adorable. I, I really relate to him even more now. <laughs> yes! God damn it, fucking logic! <laughs> Who are you people? Oh, so this baby the audacity. Girl, that's like some gypsy level shit. I'm gonna put that, and I'm gonna put Dory in it. The festival market? That's mm -hmm. some gypsy shit. So I told him that I couldn't wow. make my guest do chores, and he's like, So, do you want me to treat this like a hotel? Or would you rather me feel like I'm at home? And I'm like, well, of course, feel it, you're at home, kind of thing. And he said, okay, so do you have any objection to me cleaning up after myself while I'm in my own home? Like, sir, don't you logic your way out of this. But, but that's what you're supposed to do when you're trying to be nice for someone. Where is she? Put the fuck down. Dude, roll the camera. We can edit this shit out later. How dare this child. You don't want me cutting more than your clothes, do you? Uh... Stop! You know what, I'm going back to my OG teapot design, but whenever I have more sets, like, I'm just gonna... 
That's the goal. I'm gonna get all of the sets completed I wanna complete, and then I'm gonna go to one of these new realms, and I'm just gonna, like, lay it out. And have a perfect little city that will just all be poised. I need the camera, because I want a better look at the new Valadal. Is it weird that, like, I just love... Like, I still kind of love the, like, my original one, just because it's, it is kind of, like, a hodgepodge. Like, there's things I put different places that I wouldn't have because of, like, the order I attain things. Babe, did you get the picture of the Nuva Ladle? I think I walked in there when you showed it to me. I've got, I like a, it. I, I've got a really good picture of it up on the screen right now, if you haven't. I mean, I saw it earlier. Okay. I'm still taking a picture because that's fucking cute. The lat. The ladle that he made during ceramics. Yeah. I still don't know if he's a dick or not, though. Like... <sighs> like, he seems nice enough, but, like, after seeing that clip of Farina and then learning about their relationship from the quest, I'm like, um... Like, I actually felt really bad for her whenever you're in that conversation with Zhongli. Yeah. And they're like, She's like, do they know? You know, like, she's kind of wondering if they know that she's not the Archon anymore or whatever. Right. But, uh, well, the theory, I don't know if it's been proven yet or not, is that Nuvalet is actually the one who gave Farina her Hydro Vision in order to maintain the appearance of the Hydro Archon. So, because her vision is one of the only ones that has what looks like dragon claws holding in the gem. So. I didn't know she technically even had a vision. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's not the Archon, so. That's why I was well, I'm like, why are you guys talking about her like, she's still the Archon when she's not the Archon? I wanted to return the favor for helping me out not only once, but twice. Like, uh, that was but I mean, sense. when she was the Archon, why would she have had a vision? You know what I mean? Because she was, she, I don't think she was ever truly the Archon. Uh, I think, um, uh, there's some lore and some spoilers in there, but I think I know her origin. Well, and, uh, I don't know what to do with this item. I know that Zhongli kind of, like, in the quest, like, there was some dialogue that... It kind of suggested that, like, it respected her, Lucas even though, like, weapon? he respected her, even though, like, her divinity was fading or something. Mm -hmm. Is kind of the way it... Because I went and looked... Oh. Like, in the character archive, um... Let me say thank you again. Sorry. I can finally get all these fucking spin crystals out of my damn inventory. <laughs> because I was reading on Genshin Reddit that, like, new dialogue opens up if you have Zhongli, like, and is an unlocked character. Um, and, and he comes across Farina in that quest that, like, he gets new, like, character dialogue unlocked in his profile page. Uh -huh. Obviously, I don't have Zhongli, so I looked it up on the internet, and the way it was written was, like, I mean, I won't spoil it, but it was essentially, like, oh, well, she'll still go down in history as an Archon, even though her divinity is fading. And I was, like, well... So I guess I'm a little confused, because at first I thought she was a, kind of a fraud, but he makes her seem like she was the Archon for, like, a long time. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, she may have inherited uh, the Gnosis, which is basically kind of what makes an Archon an Archon. Um, <laughs> from, from my understanding, anyway. Um, 
but I like I don't I don't know honestly. Currently unlocking all the spin crystals. <laughs> okay, caught them. Honestly, whether she's still an archon or not, I feel like she should have been, and I think full floor's a dick. I mean that that was just really rude. You know, the whole like, oh well she's perfect and she's everything I wished I was, so I'm gonna curse her. It was just like damn. So bitch. anyway, I cursed her. Yeah, I was well, like, what the feet. fuck? Yeah, so, I cursed her. There we go. Strappily ever after. Okay, wow. dude. That's that's TMI. Very. I'm sorry. Let's see. I didn't know we were having more people to the Ula <gasps> Yes! How cute! Lucas, that's been this whole side mission! This whole side mission has been trying to get this man to feel pain, and he finally has someone And he's doing the Ula. -la. At the same just time, we haven't middle, been paying attention. In the middle of the fucking street, just just getting the shit kicked. Mr. Masochist is a pound mate. Are you fucking serious? And yeah, maybe he likes having the ooh la In the middle of the street, just getting the shit kicked out of him. Honey, anything he like, anything you like, he will do for you. I, no. No, get some help. Holy shit, dude. What? Well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that one. Doesn't work days. Learn how to eliminate pain from a masochist who suffered many agonizing pleasures. Temporarily puts the party in a manic state, so you'll barely feel anything at all. Thank you. Okay, cool. It worked. So now, uh, when I go outside... I don't. I, I don't... should be able to hear. <gasps> yes! So it's very it uncomfortable with those. I'm it. more confused about when exactly I would use that particular. Well, it sounds like it gives you a major defense boost. Wisely. Well, it's a huge defense boost, but like I would, oh, I would really need that in a boss fight. But I can't use pound baits in a boss fight, so. I'm kind of lost here. 85. Like... Do 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 do. Activate 10 tunes in the Serenity Pot using Euphonium Unbound. Activate 3! Nice. Okay. Nice it is. I'm gonna catch a taxi down to the, uh... Don't Romance borderline, workshop. like, traumatized. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, you're just like, okay. Hands and whips excite him. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna... Uh, that's, that's exactly where we're gonna leave this stream. That's exactly... where we're ending it. Right there. No, 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 come on! That, no, you stop it. Cancelled. Stop. But he likes it, likes it. I, that's fine and dandy. But until I hit the end stream button, leave it right there. And we'll see y'all next time on the next explosive episode of I don't know what the fuck this game is anymore. Ow! You never knew from the